first session I did at the kindergarten, I got inspired by little sound objects that I saw my friend trumpet player Mazat Kirbaj use on a performance we did together in Kassel. And those were like these little toys that vibrate. And that's the initial work I did with the kids there. That was, uh, for me, very inspiring in the sense of starting to think what does an instrument hear and how can an instrument be detoured from an initial function to become something we live with, like an object of the daily life and that enhances our way of listening to it or relating to it because we live with it on a daily basis. So, for instance, in the case of this drum that is here in the uh, atelier space, one other idea that popped up following this session was to work with this big drum and something like, for example, this uh, ball that is for cats and dogs. Another fundamental piece, born out of the kindergarten sessions, is one meant for teaching and education. It is a synthesis of the different sessions in the sense that it combines water, vibration, rotation, and themes approached in class with the kids. In Austin, this piece will be at the heart of educational and listening practices that we will share with a wide audience. And in Paris, it was also activated at Chantal Cruzel Gallery on moments of workshops and exploration. The drum was also part of these workshops, and during these moments, watching the kids, their reactions and behavior, I realized to what extent the two modules were connected, and this gave me the idea of putting them in dialogue together in the exhibition space in Austin. This is how the work on this show has been evolving. Empirical moment of research and education that intertwine and generate the forms and the content of what will come and take shape in Austin and New York. <laughs>